it's Claire here from Circuit to Us. Uh, this is video number 14, so we're into the seventh week now of the videos. I've loved making them. It's brilliant that you're all doing them. Okay, well done if you've got to number 14. Uh, enjoying them and hopefully feeling better for doing them uh, and feeling stronger and fitter. So today's workout, um, so workout number 14, is called a high, medium and low intensity. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a high intensity exercise followed by a medium kind of intensity one and then a low intensity and we're going to keep doing that throughout the whole workout today so we're going to get warmed up uh, well, before we do that equipment just make sure you've got that ready um, so some weights or some tins whatever you've got available or water bottles all right um, anything slightly heavy to do some weighted exercises um, a space on a wall all right some space around you if you if you like doing floor exercise and you're happy to get up and down then you may want to have an exercise mat to do your floor exercises on but if you've got a carpet you may just want to do it on the carpet and if you have any problems with your balance you may just want to have a chair available um, so you can use that or something to hold on to or a kitchen worktop around you but make sure you've got a nice space around you that's nice and safe to make the exercise so you don't fall over okay right uh, and some water make sure you've got your water available and if you want some music on in the background, I'm not going to play any music from this video um, or any of the videos. So if you want some music in the background, please play your, your own music in the background. I can't do it because of kind of copyright, uh, co copyright rules, um, laws. So please play your own music. Right, let's get going. Let's warm up. All right, so we'll just do a little march on the spot. We're going to warm up the shoulders to start with. So we're going to roll the arms. So as we're marching the feet, Getting ourselves warm, we're just warming up the muscles and we're starting off with the shoulder, the upper body, just rolling those shoulders and then the other way. As always, it's important to warm up and make sure you do the cool down at the end. Warm up the body slowly and then bring the heart rate back down again at the end. Okay, just circle the other way, just keep rotating them different ways. Okay, we're going to put our elbows together and we're going to open up the chest, keep the feet moving. So elbows up level with your shoulders, bring your elbows together and then open up. Okay, now what we're going to do is bring our hands straight and we're going to pull the arms back straight. We'll do two straight and then we're going to bend the elbows back. So we're just opening up the chest. So two straight and then two with the elbows bent. Two more straight. Okay, just roll the shoulders, keep the feet moving. And roll the shoulders the other way. Right, feet still. All right, what we're gonna do is just put our hands up. So hand on top of your elbows, and we're just gonna twist to the side. Very slowly, keep your hips facing forwards. So we're just, Warming up the core. Okay, right, we're going to do a bit for the legs. So we're just going to do some kicks and we're going to do some bicep curls with the arms. I'm just getting the heart rate up a little bit now. And we're going to just rest those feet and we're going to punch across your body. And a little bit higher. Stretching up stretch to the sides and a little bit lower okay march in we're going to bring our arm across your body we're going to stretch off that shoulder make sure it's all warmed up and change arms we don't have to hold the stretch very long in the in the warm-up but it is important that we do we do warm up Right, bring your hands behind your back, just stretch that chest, so we'll pull your hands away from your lower back. Just keeping our feet moving if you can, tapping the feet out while we're doing this. Okay, right, hands on your hips, we're going to tap the feet out in front. And now we're going to add in a bicep curl as we do that. Good, be with me. Okay, now we're going to step to the side, hands on your hips again. And now we're going to add the arms, step into the side, lifting both arms up, 
just to the sides. Don't have to go any higher than your, your shoulders. This is what we call half star. And now we're going to step back. So hands on your hips again. Get used to that movement, stepping back. Working those big muscle groups in your legs. And now we're going to add opposite arm to opposite leg. All right, so show your side on, one leg's back, one leg's forward, and we keep changing. Right, we're gonna go back to those kickbacks. We're flicking those heels up, and the bicep curls. And we're just going a little bit quicker now. If you can add a hop, we'll just kick in a little bit quicker. Depending, just always go at your own level for you. There's always ways to make it easier or harder so you can have a good workout for you. Right, a few knee raises now. So we're going to do opposite hand to opposite leg. So if you're wobbling a little bit of balance, hold onto a chair or a wall. All right, but if you're able to do it without, go a little bit higher. Or we can come up to the elbow. Or you can have a hop. Getting warmed up now, it's good. Right, back to those half stars or star jumps. Star jump is a jump. Okay, right, we're going to take a step backwards. We're going to do a calf stretch. So front knee is bent, back heel is down. Feel the stretch on the back of your lower leg. Okay, change sides, hold, keep it there, okay, right, just marching those feet, swing the arms, a little bit faster, a little jog, if you can, if not, just keep it to march in. If you have any problems throughout the exercises, doing anything, jump in. If you have any problems with your knees, your hips, and just always keep to the, the lower intensity. Okay. Right, hopefully you're feeling nice and warm. Heart rate up a little bit. Ready to get going. So, like I said earlier, keep your feet moving while I'm just explaining what we're going to do. So it's going to be a high intensity, a medium intensity, and then a low intensity. We're going to do a minute on each one. The first three exercises that we're going to do is burpees, squats, and then we're going to do the triceps. I'll explain what they are as we go through. We're going to do them for one minute, then we're going to do them for 45 seconds, and then we're going to do them for 30 seconds, and then we're going to move on to three different exercises. Okay, so have a quick drink if you need it before we start, and then we're going straight in to burpees for one minute. All right, so have your drink, get ready. One minute of burpees. Okay, so burpee, off we go. So if you know what you're doing, get on with your burpees. If you're not sure, follow me. Stepping back, one, two, stretch up on the third. One, two, stretch up. One, two, up. Okay, keep going. If you're more advanced, you can do the burpees on the floor. And all hands down, step back, step in, and up, okay? Do the level that's hardest for you. Keep it going. So we've got to do a whole minute of burpees. So this is the high intensity one that will get the heart rate up. Stretching up. If you can jump, jump. Jump up in between. Right, nearly there. 10 seconds to go. And then we've got the medium intensity one. Right, five seconds. Right, we're going straight into the next one. It's a minute on this one. The next one is squats. So wide stance, hands across your chest or out in front. Sit down, squeeze up. If you need to exercise, use a chair. Wide stance, sitting down, stand up, and then sit back down. Okay. So we're working big muscle groups here. Make sure your heels are on the floor, your back's nice and straight. Looking forwards. 
hard off those burpees. So keep with me. Up and down. Make sure those knees aren't going over the top of your toes, sitting back into it. One more. Right, we've got the low intensity one now. You just need to pick up your weight. And we're going to work the tricep muscle. So we're doing tricep kickbacks. Leaning forwards. Squeeze those arms back straight. So elbows are tucked in to your ribs. If you're looking forward, squeeze back. Feel the muscle on the back of your arm working. If you're swinging like this, then you won't feel the full benefit. You need to keep those elbows tucked in. Keep them tucked into your ribs. And slow movements. So this is the lower intensity one. And then after this, we're going to go back into the burpees. But we're only going to do 45 seconds this time. So it's a muscular exercise, this one. Right, and we put those weights down. So we're going to do the burpees again. About 45 seconds this time. So off we go. Stepping back for two. Stretch up on the third. If you haven't able to go on the floor ones, if you're able to get up and down, have a little go. Put your hands down. Step back. Back. In. In. And then up. All right. Or if you're not into that, just do the standing ones. They're all hard, whichever way we do the burpees. But always challenge yourself. See if you can do something new. Five seconds to go. Right, so we're going to do the medium one now, which is squats. So wide stance, back straight, hands out. Relax those shoulders though, try not to lean the, the arms forward too much. We can put your hands across your chest, back straight, squeeze up and down. Nothing wrong with using the chair if you're new to this. Use the chair. Helps to get that right technique, sitting back into it. Trust in the chairs there. Keep your back nice and straight. Keep breathing. Five seconds to go. Right, the next one, picking up your weights, is your triceps. So tricep kickbacks. We can do dips on the chair as well if you want to do something different. Okay, so we squeeze the arms back. Keep the elbows tucked in. So this is the low intensity one. Bit of a recovery, but still working those muscles. Right, we've only got 15 seconds to go. If you are struggling and you feel any pain in your back, just put one foot in front of the other and then you can do the same movement. Right, only five seconds to go. Right, weights down. We're back to the burpees, but it's only 30 seconds. It's your last burpees. We won't do any more burpees then. But give it. Get good speed going. Stretching up. Stepping back. 10 seconds to go. See if you do a few floor ones. Five seconds. Right, squats. 30 seconds of squats. Wide stance. Looking forward. Off we go. Down and up. Nice and slow. Keep looking forwards. Only 10 seconds to go. Five seconds. Right, picking up your weights. Tricep kickbacks. So leaning forward, elbows tucked in. Squeeze the arms back. Just always do what you can with these videos. If you need an extra breather, have a quick drink. So just join in as much as you can. Working at your own level. 
to a low intensity one, nearly done. Right, so we're gonna have a quick drink. We've done those three, we're gonna do those three again today. So I have some water, we're gonna have a one minute rest, and then we're gonna do three different ones. We're gonna do the same thing, a minute, 45 seconds, and then we'll do the 30 seconds. So have a drink. Keep those legs moving though. Avoid kind of sitting on that sofa, I know it's tempting. Right, so we've got 20 seconds to go. I was wondering as well if anyone could spot a difference in my, uh, in my lounge. If you can, you can send me a message. We'll put a message on Facebook. There's something different in this, in the view you can see to normal. Okay, right, five seconds to go. The first one's gonna be mountain climbers for a minute. So I'll show you the easier version first. So against the wall, and we're gonna pump the knee in. The other version on your hands, make sure your hands are and your arms are locked underneath your shoulders and then we're going to pump the knees in from there. You can come towards the same arms or we can twist across the body to make it a little bit more challenging. Working the core muscles. Okay, so whichever way, off we go, make sure we're doing it. Pump the knees in. Like I say, you can go across your chest. Really hard this one, so this is the high intensity one. Even against the wall here, we're working hard. Keep it going, 10 seconds. Gonna get a little twist if you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so that was the high intensity. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Right, the next one is going to be a wall press. Sorry, I've got a fuse there. Next one is a wall press. We're all using the wall again. And we're going to push in and push out. So it's like a press up, but we're doing it against the wall. The further you stand away from the wall, the harder it is. So bring your feet in if you want to make it easier. Make sure your hands are level with your shoulders. Off we go. We can do your press ups on the floor. Do it on your knees, little box press up. All right, just bringing your chest down towards the floor and pushing out. Okay, so keep it going. Whichever way is the hardest way for you. 10 seconds to go, a few more. Okay, so that's the medium one. Okay, last one is picking up your weights and we're going to do some side bends. So we're going to stand tall, all right, feet hip distance apart, hands by your sides, you're going to gently lean to one side. The heavier the weights, the harder this will be, or if you're finding it too hard, you can just drop the weights down and just do the same movement, but without the weights. So keep this going. This is the low intensity one, working the lower back and down the sides of your body here, your oblique muscles. Make sure you're keeping your body in line, so we're not leaning forwards or back, we're just going to the sides. We've only got 10 seconds to go and then we're going back to the mountain climbers. Five seconds. Right, let's put those weights down and we're going to go into those mountain climbers. So on the floor, if you can, put your hands underneath your shoulders, all right, or on the wall, straight arms. Let's pump those knees in. So you can go straight or you can go twist, twist the knee to the opposite arm. It is harder that way, so whichever version is suitable for you. So we're only doing 45 seconds this time, so a little bit quicker. Keep going. Last push. Three, two, one. Okay, so that's the high intensity. The next one is the wall press. So we're back on the wall again or on the floor. And we're doing press ups or wall press. So 
working that chest muscle on the back of your arms, pushing in and out of your, your chest towards the wall. That's it, keep breathing through it. It's only 45 seconds on this one. Ten seconds to go. Few more. Don't stop. Right, picking up your weights. So we've got the low intensity one now. Side bends. Off we go. Get that nice stance. Standing tall. Hold. All those muscles tight. Your core muscles here. That tummy, tummy button in towards your spine. You hold it tight. But keep breathing. Avoid holding your breath. Keep going. Ten seconds to go. You can hold anything weighted for this exercise. Five seconds to go. Right, we're on 30 seconds now. So mountain climbers. Off we go, 30 seconds. This is the high intensity, so working hard. Let's get that heart rate up. Bump those knees, go across your body if you can. All right, or if you're doing it on the floor, make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders. You can twist. All right, five seconds, a bit quicker. Four, three, two, one. Right, next one is the wall press or the press ups. So kind of similar movements, but we're leaning in and out now. We're using the upper body. Make sure your hands are level with your shoulders. Lower your body in towards the wall. Keep your body nice and straight. You've done it. That was quick. Right, last one, picking up your weights, side bends, and then we'll have another minute's rest. So this is the low intensity one. Keep it going, 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so a minute rest, have some water, open a window, get some air. We're getting a little bit hot. Keep your feet moving though. Right, we're going to move on. While you're having your drink, I'll just explain. We're going to do three more exercises, three different ones. Again, a minute, 45 seconds, 30 seconds on each of them. So the high intensity one is going to be step to the side or add a little hop to it. Or if you wanna make it harder again, we jump with both feet at the same time. So that's number one. Number two will be the plank, all right, which I'll explain as we go through. So we're just making sure we're on our elbows on the floor if you can, if not, we're against the wall. And the last one will be the front and the side arm raises. So that's our three this time. So we're gonna get ready, first one, a minute, high intensity. Imagine there's something in the middle and we've got to step over it. All right, so if you're a beginner, this will be the way you want to do it, or even holding onto the, the wall or, or kitchen worktop. Okay, so you're holding on to something when you're doing it. Want to make it harder? A little jump. Or if you're more advanced, let's, uh, let's see a little jump. Really working, get those heart rates up. All right, just do which version for you. Just keep going with me, don't stop. You have a good workout, whichever way you're doing it. 10 seconds to go, a little bit quicker. Right, the next one is the plank. So we can do the plank against the wall, straight arms, and we bring our feet back away from the wall and we hold, making sure our back is nice and straight. 
Oh, we come down the floor on our, onto our elbows. Elbows underneath your shoulders. Just make sure they are. And we hold that position, straight legs. You can also do it on your knees. So whichever position, get into the position, plank position and hold. Doing it for a minute. We've only got 20 seconds to go. Hold that tummy muscle, that tummy button, sorry, in towards your spine. Hold it tight. Squeeze all the muscles. Well done. You've done it. Right, up we get. We're grabbing your weights. So we're doing front and side arm raises. So we're going out straight to the front and then to the side. So off we go. So to shoulder height. That's it. Good job. Avoid holding your breath. Make sure the oxygen's getting around the body. You don't want red rosy cheeks because you're holding your breath. You want to breathe in and out. I find it's easier to blow out on the harder bit. Breathe in on the down. Five seconds to go. So that's the low intensity one, working the shoulders. Right, weights down. We're back to the side jumps or the side steps. All right, so off we go. It's only 45 seconds on this one. Working those out thighs, getting our heart rate up. So add a little hop to it. If you think you're not really getting your heart rate up, I'm gonna go a little bit higher, a little bit faster. Stepping over, whatever that is in the middle. Want to touch it. Pull the two feet together. Use those arms to jump up. Just whatever, keep going. Whichever way is suitable for you. Right, it's that plank. We love the plank. Right, 45 seconds. All right, against the wall or on the floor, on your elbows. Well, you can do up and down plank if you want to do up and down onto your hands and then you can do down onto your elbows. Keep your back nice and straight. It's always hard to plank. Ten seconds to go. One. Right up we get. Next one is front and side arm raises. With your weights, keep with me. It's only 45 seconds on this one. So this is the low intensity one. The recovery. We're still working those shoulders. If you have any problems with your shoulders, just drop the weights down. Or if you can't go as high as your shoulders, just lower it down slightly. Five seconds to go. Right, weights down. We're back to the side steps for 30 seconds. Off we go. You can have a bicep curl to it if you want. If you step, if you're doing the stepping one, if you're jumping, use those arms. 30 seconds. Get that heart rate up. It's high intensity. Done it. No more side jumps. Right, plank. Let's get in the position you can do against the wall, remember? Or if you're used to doing the plank, onto the floor. Make sure your back is in line. Try not to lift your hips up or sag too low. Only five 
five seconds. Keep with me. You've done it. All right. Last one, front and side. Arm raises. Picking up your weights. Feet hip distance apart. Standing tall. When we stand up nice and tall, we'll feel those core muscles working. Good posture, shoulders back. Right, one more minute, have a rest. And then we've only got three more exercises to go, so keep with me, and then we're done. So have a drink, get your breath back. It's hard this one, breathing heavy myself. Whew. It's all good. Right then, so three more to go. All right, so the last three will be half stars, or star jumps, or we can touch the floor in between. Depending on what level you are, if you're having problems with your hips or joints, just do the half star. Next one will be the wall squat. So we're gonna sit against the wall and hold. I'll explain more about that in a minute. And then the last one will be the twists. Or we can sit on the floor and do the Russian twist. Right then, so high intensity, one minute, let's give it everything we got because this is the last three and then you're done. We're going to cool down and you've done your workout for today. Right, so half stars, you can bring your arms up if you can, not just to shoulder height. We'll jump in. All right, so whatever level Push yourself. Right, we're halfway through for these half stars. So this is the high intensity, so it should be hard. Right, 20 seconds to go. These minutes are long, aren't they? <laughs> Keep going. Right, last speed, 10 seconds to go. A little bit quicker if you can. If not, just keep moving. Right, that's the high intensity. Next one, medium, is the wall squat. So it's more relaxing, but it is hard still. So back against the wall. We're gonna slide down onto the wall. And we're gonna hold that position. And we're gonna feel the muscle on the top of your thigh working. This is going to be hard. I left this one to the last set, <laughs> but it's all good. Keep with me. If you're really struggling, I don't want to cause any injuries, okay, or any too much pain, just stand up, shake it up, shake the legs off, and then go back down again. But if you can, just keep with me. We've done this before, nice and low. Four, 10 seconds to go. Can I feel your pain? Because I can feel it too. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're done. Shake those legs off. Right, the last one for a minute is the Russian twist. So pick up your weights. Hands out, we're twisting to the side. If you've done this before, you, you can also do the Russian twist, which is sitting down, bending your knees. So this is more of a lower intensity exercise, working your core muscles. If you're more advanced, you can lift your feet up, cross your feet over, lean back a bit more and twist. If you're just trying out of that, you may want to do it without weights. Keep going. Right, if you're standing up, make sure your feet are facing forwards, hips forwards. Five seconds. Right, putting those weights down. So we're back to the half stars or star jumps, 45 seconds. Good speed going. Like I said, once we've been through these, we're done. So don't give up, complete the video. 
once you finish this, you're going to feel great. And you've got to remember that feeling, how great you feel. To remember to do it next time, give you that motivation to do it again. Right, 10 seconds, it's a little bit quicker. Right, we've got that wall squat again. So we're sitting against the wall. Bring our feet away from the wall, make sure your knees are not going over your toes. If they are, you need to slide your feet away from the wall a little bit more. Get comfy. Push that back against the wall. You can put your arms out as well. And hold. Keep it going. Well over halfway on this one. 15 seconds to go. Try and keep with me. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, give those legs a shake. Right, trunk twists, picking up your weights. We can do it without the weights if you're new to this. Feet facing forwards, twist to the side. Slow movement. Try not to twist the whole of the, all the legs. Try and keep the hips facing forward, twist from the upper body. All your Russian twists on the floor. Keep with me. We've only got to go through 30 more seconds on each one. And then we're done. Five seconds. Right, let's put those weights down. Straight into our half stars or star jumps. 30 seconds of these. Right, well, there's 10 seconds to go. I want you to go as fast as you can. Ready? 10 to go. Fast as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow, excellent. Right, next one, wall squat. So only 30 seconds, get nice and low. Hold. This is the medium one. Keep it there. 10 seconds to go. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Oh, you've done it. Right, picking up your weights. Last exercise, trunk twists. 30 seconds, we're on the floor. If you're on the floor, just bend your knees slightly, lean slightly backwards. 10 seconds. weights down. Give yourself a clap. Hopefully you're feeling good for that. Keep your feet moving. I'm going to have a cool down, but have a drink of water, get some air. Please make sure you do the cool down. You've done a good, really good workout. It's important that you stretch off now. Stretch off those muscles before you carry on the rest of your day. Okay, so have a drink. Shake those arms and legs. We've done it. That was hard, that one. It's hard because we had to repeat the exercises, the same ones, using the same muscle groups. But it's good. We did a high intensity, a medium one, and then more of a strength, the lower intensity one to finish each time. Right then, so let's stretch off. All right, so just roll those shoulders. Okay, so we're going to start with a hamstring stretch. Okay, so shake off your legs a little bit more. All right, and then we're just going to put the front leg straight. I'm going to place your hands on the bent leg, and we're going to sit back into that stretch. Stick with me, do these stretches. Okay, change sides. You may feel like you've got your own kind of cool down that you like to do. All right, the stretches on the floor, that's fine as well, but whichever way you do the cool down, make sure you just do cool down and don't just sit on the sofa. I know it's tempting. Right, 
side. And we're going to take a step forward. We're going to do a calf stretch, but we're also going to do a shoulder stretch at the same time. So we're going to bring the arm across your body, stretching off the shoulder. I'll show you from this angle as well. So you've got one foot back, stretch, feel the stretch down the back of your lower leg and also across your shoulder. So you lower that arm. Okay, change legs, bring the other leg back. And now we bring the other arm across and on the outside part of your arm, ease that in. So we're doing two stretches at once. Right, we're going to bring the hands behind your back now. Link your hands together, pull your hands away from your lower back, or you can put your hands on your lower back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. So we're stretching the chest muscle. We work that muscle while we're doing the, the wall press or our press ups. It's important that we lengthen off these muscles before we, we rest and stop. Keep your feet moving a little bit. Probably your heart rate's up a little bit, so keep, keep moving. Right, let's just do a few side bends, the hands by your sides. Just going to gently lean to one side and then the other side. You can put your hand above your head, a little, make it a little extra stretch and change again. And one more time to the other side. Okay, right, we're going to hold on to the wall now for a chair. We're going to bring the leg up behind can hold on to kind of your foot or your shoe or the back of your shoe if you're struggling or get a tea towel and put the tea towel around your foot and pull your leg up from there as we're doing this we're sort of stretch on the front of your thigh we just hold these stretches for a little bit longer than we did in the, the warm-up not that we stretch this one in the warm-up but the other stretches okay lower it down shake that leg change sides it's really important that we do stretch at the end of the workouts. Um, it's not as important in the warm up, but it is important we do warm up and do mobility exercises before we warm up, before we go into the exercise. But definitely stretch in at the end. Lengthen those muscles off so they don't become so tight. Okay, lower that down. Give that leg a shake. Right, let's do your inner thighs. So we're going to do a wide stance. We're going to turn the foot out so now the knee follows the toe. It's important that the knee does follow that toe. Let's have a look, just make sure it is. Feel the stretch in the inner thigh and then we'll go across to the other side. Turn the other foot out. This one goes, the other foot goes forward again and lean, hold. So your heart rate should be coming down now, recovering. Right, just going to bring your hands out in front, pull your arms away from you. And then we're going to bring our hand up onto your shoulder, shaking your feet off. Bring your other hand just below the elbow there and ease the arm up. Depending on how flexible you are, you may be able to put your hand above your, your head, ease it up a little bit higher. And change arms. Put the other arm up. Ease the arm up. We're nearly there. All cooled down, all stretched off. Feeling great. I would do one more wide stance. Let's do a nice big stretch up. Stretch up towards your ceiling and then sweep down and back up. Breathe in on the down. Nice breath out as you stretch up a little bit higher. And one more. Okay. Give yourself a clap. You've done it, everyone. Keep going. Hope you're feeling great for that. Remember how good it feels at this point. You've done it. You've done a workout before, you probably didn't really want to do it, but you put the video on, you thought you'd have a go, and now you've done it, you're feeling much better. So remember how you feel now, and that will make you switch on and do the next video, or go back and do some of the other ones if you've skipped any, skipped any out. All right, have a lovely day, whatever you get up to, and I, or you will see me, hopefully I'll see you again in the next one. Keep up the good work, bye.